back to you all, cowering on the floor and hiding under the bleachers. We're waiting for the we're waiting for the uh, crows to right to down settle down, and then settle we're down. going to quietly sneak out of the room back the way we came. Okay. All right, so as you all are sneaking back the way you came, you hear those footsteps again. I'm going back the They're not in the room with you. Are they coming from the direction we're going? Mm -hmm. Coming back towards you. So you're sort of mid-sneak here, out from under the bleachers, and you hear those footsteps coming. Okay, let it die. Other All right. So through the other door is um, it is a uh, it's a workshop. So there are some shelves here, like like bench high, counter height shelf with tools and things on them. Um, and there's tools and things on the on the benches. Uh, there are two doors leading out of here, um, and. You can see like like actual power saws and, and hand tools and and, and some cabinets um, and uh, and uh, and a pair of little kids standing just in the middle of the room. Not toddler. They're probably like kindergarten age. I mean, they're they're younger than you. I mean, clearly. I mean, they're you're. By the way, fourth and fifth grade. Oh, oh, right. um, you're eight, so you're I'm like third You're the youngest. You're, the youngest. you're kind of hanging out with well, these people. Why the heck are you people. follow me? <laughs> you're kind of hanging I would out say. with these people uh, that are older than you. So probably, yeah, I mean, you would be the intermediary here. And as you start to look at these kids, um, you, you realize that, that one its head is on just a little bit awkward. And it looks like there's a, a slice through the neck. Um, and the other one has a bullet hole right between their eyes, her eyes. Oh, the crows. It is true. Are they saying anything? They're not saying anything. Just staring at you. Do their eyes follow? They do track you. Yes. Okay. So they are. They are. They are animate. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're not statues of kids. They're well, no, or they could have been dead and just and propped up. You're right. They're, they're yeah. not taxidermy children. <laughs> <laughs> not in not in this room. Not, um, not in this room. Oh. Not weekend at Bernie. Yeah. Uh, they're not weekend at Bernie's. They are tracking you. And and so it's a little boy and a little girl. Yeah. Um, Back and away. And and one of them, the little boy, uh, he's the one that sort of got his head half on, half off. He says, "Help me." Help me. You hear the footsteps in the room behind you. There's a work table over there. I'm going to crawl under it. Okay, you're crawling under the work table. I'm going to grab one of the tools. Like I say that, right? Or something and stand by the door. Okay. What are you doing? It's not that I'm a coward. It's that I don't want to know your body is there. Oh, I'm afraid of crows now, aren't I? You are, if you took damage yeah. from the crows. You are afraid of crows. crows specifically or birds? Birds, it would be birds. Okay. I think I'll try to talk to the kids. Okay. All right, what do you say? Ornithophobia? What happened to you? Aviophobia? Uh, the little girl says, Daddy got us. And now, we're going to get you. Oh, a little boy? Uh, and they start running at you. Uh, that's a That's a horror trying to help you. It is a horror yes. haunted house game. Uh, okay. That's a bust, however. Oh, it is a 22. It is a 22. If you can find a way to work that in. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, so what's your trait? I read a book on that. 
<laughs> it oh, might not be useful here. You might have just busted. I can't think of anything. Uh, can I shine my flashlight in their eyes as they're turning at him? He's busted, so it's not going to matter. It's not going to help. Does it matter if the dealer assaults them? He has to stand first. Yeah. So you normally, yes, that would help. In this case, it doesn't. Yes, I know. They do. Uh, I'm trying to think. I can't think of anything. All right, let's go. All right, you take it. You bust. Yeah. What? What oh, can you lose? I have, oh, I can lose either one. You can lose either one. You just have to justify it. So. You get a phobia. You get a phobia of, of children. <laughs> children. Creepy, creepy children is actually what it says on the chart. Creepy children. So that guy in your math class now. <laughs> creepy children. All right, so what happens, Dean? They charge you. What do they do? Uh, they just push me up against the wall, and I'm shrieking. Okay. And I probably can't be quiet enough. Okay. Just too scared. Okay. All right. So cross out quiet as a mouse. And when they push you, when they push you against the wall, um, it actually they push you up against a rag of really sharp tools. All right. And so they're cutting into your back. They're cutting into your arms. And, and, and yeah, I mean you're you're getting cut up. It doesn't kill you. Uh, and then the children just poof and a puff, of, a puff of smoke. They just sort of wisp away. All right? Um, it hurts, and you are no longer quiet as a mouse. All right, back to you guys. And you have, boom, stopped the swinging blades. There are two doors out of here. Thanks, Mikey, man. <laughs> I don't know what I would have done without you. Um, and I can't believe I said that. Let's get out of here. Yeah, where are we going? I don't know. I picked the door last time. It's your turn. Dude, I fell through the yeah, roof. You didn't pick that door. Pick a door. Uh, let's go through the left one. All right. Through the left door is the Nine of Clubs. Hey, that's fun. And... <laughs> oh, no. That can't be good. So, oh wait, nothing's gonna be good. It doesn't matter. Uh, so the the room that you open up um, off of the den, with the swinging blades and the animal heads and um, and the hunting rifle on the wall is no, you all did not. You <laughs> moved on without it. That was possibly a mistake. Although I will say, eleven-year-old kids with an elephant gun may not be a good idea either. Yes, but it would have been hysterical. Um, so you yeah. go into the into the next room and it's it's a little chapel. Um, it's like a little family chapel. There's even stained glass windows that there's light shining in through them um, and a little baptismal thing font I think they call them up at the front and a, and a pulpit and a, and a crucifix. Given that you're in a sub sub basement, one wonders where the light's coming from. Right. Uh, and there's 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 two rows of pews. I mean it's it's a small chapel. There is a door, you can see it, beyond the it like beyond, the, beyond the pulpit, beside the crucifix. Yeah, yeah. Got it. Okay. Um, and at first glance, it seems like a like a peaceful room. I mean, there's no, like, music piped in, choirs playing, anything like that. But it, it almost feels relaxing. Um, nope. And then, and then there's no ice cream. There's some water over there. And there is water. <laughs> I like the tone of his voice when he says that. There is water. Um, and and Mikey will try anything. <laughs> and uh, out of the water... Rises up, um, this sort of preacher-looking fellow, um, dressed in the in a in a in a in a, in a dark suit. He's, he's got that white thing around his neck with the stole. Thank you, the stole. Yes, um, he's got two horns on his head um, and a pointed tail coming out from behind him, and his eyes are glowing. So his eyes are glowing red. <laughs> Really about irony. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he reaches out his hand to you like this. Okay. Yeah, uh, that's he's attacking you. Okay. 
sorry, I can't tell you that. I'm going to drop my pocket frog, which allows me to take damage. This would just take us to rising tension. You would lose. Oh. So uh, yeah, sure. Why not? You got. You want to hold on yeah, to that for a moment? Okay. Uh, so I had a natural mm -hmm. twenty-one. You cannot beat that without right. a natural twenty-one. Right. So toss those to the side. You immediately go to rising tension. So he holds his hand out, and you feel yourself sliding, like up on your tiptoes. No, 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 just, no, 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 just no, 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 no. Sliding towards him. Am I allowed to jump in with one of my traits? Not unless. Not unless he does a split. split. That's twenty. Uh, no, no. This automatically goes to me. Yep. Yeah. No, it does not no, mean it's it a fatal encounter. It account. means there's another well, unstoppable horror. It means the unstoppable horror that you haven't stopped yet just got harder. Yeah. <laughs> so he's even more so unstoppable. He is even more unstoppable. Um, you haven't encountered him yet, so it's not that not that bad. You're at a twenty. You're gonna stay at twenty. Yeah. That is a 15. That's a bust. What happens? So, as I'm being dragged across the floor, uh, I reach out and grab the back of two of the sets of pews. Okay. And just grab a hold as tight as I can, white knuckle on the back of these pews to stop my momentum. Okay. All right. And as you do that, uh, grabbing hold of pews, he's still tugging at you with this whatever unholy force he has, and you shaking the pews, the um, the hymnals and the Bibles that are tucked in the back actually come up and fly at him and smack him in the head and backwards into the, into the baptismal pool. Holy water? Well, it's not holy water. He came up out of it. It was unholy. It was unholy, unholy water. water. Yeah. All right, so what are you all doing? So he's, is he still there? You're going to get close and find out? I'm going to reach back and grab Julie. Okay. okay. With, with one hand, yep. grab one of the Bibles, assuming there's Bibles in the pews with the hymnals. Yes. Grab one of the Bibles out of the other one, and we're going to take off the Can I grab the crucifix? Is that close enough? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, all right. We're going to take off running towards the front, go left at the end of the pews, up along the sidewall, okay. and then around. around at the door. Around to the door. Yeah. On our way out. Okay. All right. As far away from the font as we can get. It's a pretty small chapel. Okay. This is a test to see if he can grab you. Okay. Okay. All right. So we're using the house deck here. Probably going to wind up being me because you're dragging me. All right. And it is actually on both of you. What? Split. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we'll start with you. Uh. 16 is always the tough 16 is always the tough one if you stay or do you take one I think I'm going to stay okay all right are you going to stay at 16 or not on this because it's a group test remind you of the rules I must hit at a 16 or below I must stay at a 17 or above yeah right Um, Unless we're tied. If I get 16. <laughs> I, I do have a question. How yes. does my trait go whenever it comes to my ninja stars? Because it says yeah, plus one to range attacks or survival tests. Is that a plus one to you? Or is it a plus you. one to me? That? It's a plus one to you if you were throwing one of these at a foe that's at a distance. So uh, as I'm running, I have one left, and I can. I'm, I want to throw one of my stars. And to the front to, at him. As, as he's kind of getting up still and there. reaching for mm -hmm. you, you're going to try I'm going to okay. try to throw the stars and one All right, so that will put you at a 17. That, that puts you at a pretty safe place. I'm at an 8. I'm at a 15. I'm at a 17. Oh, no. But that ties her. That ties her. That beats, that beats you. Me. So that's yes. damage to me though? No, it's no damage. Oh, okay. This it's no test. damage. That was the test to see, can he grab one of you? Uh, you run him past him, boom, throwing star in his head, right? And he falls backwards, but, but Mikey's kind of pushing you away and shielding you, and the guy reaches out and grabs Mikey's wrist. All right, so you're back in a test with him. Yep. I'll stay at 18. Okay. That is a 15. That is a bust. All right, so you you get away, um, and uh, what do you do? We keep looking towards that yeah, door out of the room. Door. All right, okay, and you're out 
into you the next have a Bible? room. Yeah, I have a Bible. Plus a Bible. Did, did you hit him with well, the Bible okay. on the way out? Or what that's did you how do? You hit him. That's, what, that's yes. how I get him off? All right. Yeah. So, so I take, I'm holding the Bible in the one hand and uh, trying to beat my other hand to get him off yes. of me while we run out of yes. the room. And you just smack him upside, smack him upside the head. Room. And he falls back. He's already got a throwing star in his head. Right. The Bible, I just, I just drive the the Bible star drives it through. Yeah. Deeper yeah. into the <laughs> All right. so, obvious form of a creature. All right. with form. Let me see what your room is so I know when we come back to it, but then we're jumping to the other guys. Eight of books. <laughs> that actually makes a whole lot of sense. Is that like Back to you all in the workshop with the kids that just poof the footsteps coming up behind you what are you all doing i'm gonna check on buddy to make sure he's okay i'm like buddy are you okay i'm still standing by the door i'll be all right i'll be all right i think we should jump him how are you barricading the door um one of the tables, uh, so you're grabbing onto one of the tables and trying to drag it off. The, okay, that's all right. Who's helping us? We should catch him by surprise. Okay, you're helping her. Okay, um, as you get close to the door, um, the footsteps stop, and you sort of see this vague, shadowy thing hanging in the air, and uh, then it's on top of you. Do I have the table between us? Nope. Oh. No, you're pulling it towards oh, the door, and it's kind of come, they see it come up behind you and sort of envelop you. That is a 14. That is a 15. That is a 22. Okay. I still have my minus two ability. Yeah. Louisville. Louisville. All right. But you're taking that to a 19, so what are you doing here? Um, take it to a 20. 20. Oh, take it to a 20, because you're at a 22. Right. Take it down to a 20. Well, so what do I perceive as happening? Like, yeah, like you some feel, thing. you all see some shadowy thing. You feel something with substance grab onto you from behind. Well, I have my uh, reflexes yeah. as, you know, a little league champ. Okay. Trying to break free. Okay. That's uh, 11, 21. So, you are struggling and you don't immediately break free. Um, this is Rising Tension. You got the Joker from Rising Tension, so you can... Either recover a dead trait or exhaust or undo the exhausted one. I would say, okay. Well, <laughs> you busted anyway, <laughs> so you might just that actually saved your life. Uh, you might just want to uh, erase it again, or your choice, because you took damage. So you recovered the damage and then you took it immediately again. But I could lose my exhaustion. You can lose your exhaustion. Yes, you can lose your exhaustion. Okay. All right. So you are elbowing him and punching him, and and you're doing everything that you think is right. Uh, and and you see this shadow just pick her up and slam her down to the floor. Jenny. Yeah. I'm going to attempt to drive the shadow away with my flashlight. Okay. <laughs> and here they, you know, use the light to combat the dark. Okay, all right. Get away! Light to combat the dark. Are you actually, that's a split, but hang on. Are you actually using the ability of the flashlight to put me in rising attention? Yes. Okay, so. I'm going to... Let me check this, because it may not matter. Yeah. It matters. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pop in there. I'm okay. going to start grabbing whatever tools okay. are just laying there. I'm just going to start pointing tools. Right at the, the shadowy figure. Hammers, wrenches, okay. sockets. All right. I okay. That's the ghost of daddy. Like, yeah, yeah. Kid's daddy. Ooh. Ah. Uh, I forgot he was on that. Okay. It'll fly next. Oh. See if it'll help me. But I don't want you to. You definitely don't want me to have this. Uh, so I'll, I'll take her. That's a 14. 14. 
15. <laughs> uh, let's see here. See, if you fail, though, then it just goes to me. That's true. Um, yeah, but you still take damage. If he doesn't bust. If he doesn't bust, it just goes back to that. But he's got a hit on 16. No, not on this. No, no, not right. Okay. Well, no, no, because if he's beating me, he doesn't have that. Right. right. I'll take one more. Well, oh, so that was a mistake. That was a bust. Yeah, and there's, bust. I don't think you have anything to pull that down. No. Nope. Okay. I, no, I so, um. This is. Oh, wait. It wasn't really tinkering. No. 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 Um. So. <laughs> you, take, you take damage. You take damage. You bust it and take damage. Um. You. The things I throw. So you're throwing stuff at him. Something together. Um. And it just goes right through him. Right through him. And you feel this. I mean, you see the shadow come out, but you feel the hand, which just knocks you back against him. Now. He's still after you with the flashlight. Is he still in the Yes. However, that's what this means. So is that, actually. Okay. So. All right. We have to reshuffle. Which puts in one, two, three, and four jokers into the deck.